Hi, this is Jason and welcome to famous people that are shit. There's one actor in particular that... He's not my favorite actor, but I kind of see why people liked him at the time. His name is Stephen Collins. Stephen Collins, the only reason I'm, gonna, I'm pretty worked up on this video, not because of his acting skills, which are, eh, it's serviceable. Not the best actor, but definitely not the worst. You can say what you want about Deckard from, like, uh, Star Trek, as Josh Halley call it, Star Trek The Motionless Pitcher. <laughs> he was fine in that movie. I also liked him in uh, Jumping Jack Flash. And also, some of you guys who are into, like, the Indiana Jones-type TV shows, uh, he was Jake Cutter on Tales from the Golden Monkey. He's also the dad from, like, Seventh Heaven. The reason I brought that up is because uh, Stephen Collins is, ugh, what he did to his stepdaughter is just unforgivable. I'm sorry, when you have, like, uh, when, when you do shit like this, like, uh, having sex with your own, like, uh, stepdaughter, and the stepdaughter is underage, I'm sorry, that that's the point where I have to separate the art from the artist. That crossed the line right there. It's like, nah, dude, no, can't forgive you for that. Same goes with, like, uh, R. Kelly, Bill Cosby, um, what are those people? Kevin Spacey, and Victor Salva. Those six bucks. The only reason I brought Stephen Collins up, though, is because, like, um, he comes off in interviews like a nice person. Comes off like, you know, like an everyman, but the problem was, he did some sick shit like, uh, fucking your own stepdaughter. It's just... I can't, I can't respect you for that, man. It's like, it's like the whole Woody Allen thing. When you do some, when you do shit like this. But the thing, the difference between Woody Allen's problem and Steven's problem is, at least when Woody did it, that girl was like, um, of age. She was like an adult when that happened. Not that I accept it, but I'm just saying, at least uh, when Woody Allen did, like, uh, she was an adult. But when uh, Stephen Collins did it, he did it as a kid. I'm guessing the girl at the time would have been, what, 14 or 15? She's probably in her mid-20s now, and she's really scarred by it. Yeah, that's something you can't erase in your head, no matter how hard you try. <sighs> Stephen Collins, what a fucking sick pervert that guy is. That's what drives me about that, though. I don't know if he still had work after all this, though, but if he did have work after all this, I have to blame the casting directors and everything else were casting that guy for and roles when he's still playing the upstanding citizen in real life he's a piece of shit that just drives me insane I can deal with the egotistical shit of Steven Seagal undeserved egotism while making these crappy direct DVD movies I can like uh, I can handle the drop LeBron James being a crybaby I can handle, hell, I could even handle, like, uh, Amber Turd leaving something for the bad for Johnny Depp. But one thing I can't stand is someone fucking their own family members. Even if they're not of blood, but their own family members. And, and, if, and not even of age either. It's like, what the fuck? 14 years old? I feel bad for this girl. She's got to live with that for the rest of her fucking life. Anyways, for Stephen Collins, I want to give you the old fuck you salute for this video. Late.